A military force bearing the crest of flames on its banner marches west to Garigmach from Shambhala, attacking nearby cities along the way. Rhea informs the Alliance that the enemy's general is none other than the ancient fell king Nemesis. And so the Alliance army prepares for their final battle, hoping to put an end to Fodlan's blood-stained history. What's the plan, my friend? I thought you'd say that. Then of course, I'll be joining you. What about the rest of you? Our enemy is a monster of legend. As always, there's not a shred of proof that we can win. A foolish inquiry, Claude. I must finish what my father started. Started? Your father ran away before the battle even began. I... well... All the more reason why I, as his heir, cannot flee now. I'm in. I need to get back at him for hurting my brother. I'm not going to let him get away with it. Wow. Hilda's serious about this. I, too, will fight until the end. I wish to protect Fodlin's future. I feel the same as Lysithia. It would hardly be fitting for Captain Geralt's apprentice to bow out now. I'll show them everything he taught me. I... I will give it my all as well. For the Professor, for Claude, and for all of you who helped make me as strong as I am now. I'm in too. And when we're done, I'm gonna eat tons of steak to celebrate. This truly is the final battle. At this point, you shouldn't have to ask us, Claude. You know we're with you. I do know that, Ignatz. But I had to ask, just to make sure. <laughs> Look at how reliable you kids have become. You've trained them well, Professor. This nemesis guy should be arriving soon. Is everyone ready? It's finally time. That's right. I'm confident we have what it takes to win. Let's defeat this dusty old king of liberation and put an end to this history of lies. Once we've done that, there'll be nothing holding us back. A new and brighter age will begin. Let's go, my friend. Fodlin's new dawn awaits. Nemesis is here, and with more soldiers than expected. A swamp, huh? But there's something about it. It looks odd somehow. <laughs> Can't breathe. You should not have done that. Be careful. The water is poisonous to the living. It looks like we better not get near that swamp. Try to avoid it during the fight. Let's make this quick. Not there yet. What's my strategy? Shall we? My skills are rising to my status. Huh? I think they've got some sort of magical link with Nemesis. Could the magic be protecting him? Not sure, but we'd better take out his ten commanders before taking him on. Nine more commanders remaining. We just killed number ten. These can't be the ten elites, can they? Nah, not likely. Steady now.
Leave it to me. Ha! My orders? At the ready. I'm that much closer to my goal. Shall we? Guide me well. I'll do my best. You're amazing. I'd be honored. That's Nemesis. You're a crusty old bastard, you know that? All those who stand in my way will be destroyed! Uh, watch out, Claude! They're coming for us! I believe I can do more. The swampland vanished. Decent form. Again. Hey, look at you. Amazing. Predictable. So 
saw that! Watch and learn! I'll use this power for the greater good. I'll keep moving. Fine work. Amazing. Do my best. speak <laughs> just puppets controlled by nemesis well they're the strongest puppets I've ever known ah, so close yeah professor Claude all the subordinates to nemesis have been eliminated it took some doing but now is our chance to face off against nemesis Thank <laughs> you. 
Watch and learn. Ha! the least I could do. That one seemed to work. We're almost done. Let's go, my friend. talk from the guy who's lived too long. Allow me to fix that! You are all pathetic weaklings. You lack the courage to challenge me in lone combat. Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us to reach out our hands in friendship so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win! Future historians will refer to this day as the new dawn of Fodlan. Of that, I have no doubt. It's up to you now, Teach. As for my path... A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlan. The ambitions of the fell king Nemesis were crushed, averting what could have been the greatest crisis in the history of Fodlan. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. Country, faith, history, all that had once formed the order of the world was wiped clean. The heroes whose very hand saved Fodlan from a dark fate commenced with the building of a new society. The leaders of this new, unified Fodlan began their walk down a seemingly endless path, one towards a world that would cherish differences in race and belief, one where all life would be valued equally. Those leaders clung to the hope that their path would not end with Fodlan that it would someday span the seas to Dagda and beyond the throat to Almira. I apologize for chasing after you. I really need to speak with you. But I can come back if now is not a good time. Thank you. 
You've always been so accepting of me. You've never rejected me for my flaws. You have given me the strength and courage to look forward to my future. But I won't know what to do with myself when the war has ended. When I'm gone, will I keep moving forward or back? Well, my adoptive father wants me to return home right away. Though he put all that talk of marrying me off to a powerful noble on hold. For now. Apparently, I'm being hailed as a hero back home. Can you imagine that? Me, a hero. And now my family wants me by their side so they can flaunt my new status about town. How silly. Even so, it is nice that my relationship with my adoptive father has improved. It is starting to feel as though I am a true daughter to him at last. No. I've been considering what would be the best course for my future, and... Well, here, please, won't you take this? I'm sorry for surprising you with this so suddenly. In truth, I've surprised even myself. It's unthinkable that someone who spent their entire life avoiding people could offer you a ring. But who I am now? It's all thanks to you. You've shown me a strength I didn't know I could possess. I wanted you to see how far I've come, and how much I've grown. I guess... I wanted you to see me show a little bravery. I'm not asking you to marry me here and now. That would... be a bit much, perhaps. Maybe we can just think of this as a promise. That you will always be in my heart. What? Really? You would want to marry me? Even with all my flaws? You know... I'm stronger now, but I can grow even more if you stay by my side. I'll do everything in my power to support you, and I hope you will continue to support me as well. I... I love you. So very deeply. Thank you for giving me the world. <laughs>